difference due to one amino acid difference. I'm going to do this uh, by uh, turning pages sometimes in my notebooks and sometimes just in my life uh, to give you a feeling about my uh, interest in science. I enjoyed the lecture very much and Dr. Smithis has been very funny in his lecture. I thought it was a really great opportunity to be able to um, hear a lecture from a Nobel laureate. And I think we are very lucky. Yeah, we can learn a lot. If there has been recombination here, blue will be next to red and I should be able to find a blue-red piece of DNA. So that's the argument. I learned the most important lesson from today is that uh, if you want to be successful in the future, you have to have the guts to be yourself. I'm still working in the lab and I'm still doing experiments. Crazy. Why is a guy aged more than 80, 87, What's he doing, working on Saturday, doing experiments? Because he's doing what he likes to do. That Saturday last week was one of the Saturdays that I treasure. The biggest advice of his talk is that uh, we should play with our work, not uh, working with our work. I don't think I'm working. I think I'm playing. Well, I think part of his advice around, uh, you know, uh, get good sleep, actually, and uh, use that as an opportunity to, to bring inspiring ideas uh, at night. You just need to get a good sleep and uh, throw all of the junk ideas and choose the right one to hold on to. And I actually did not know he made so many inventions which I actually used during my earlier careers when I was still working in lab. And I think he uh, also uh, exemplify the, the spirit of human ingenuity. And then I remembered helping my mother with the laundry. In those days, if you ha wanted to have a nice collar uh, for your shirt, uh, you would make a starch. And when you tied it up at the end of the day, uh, the starch, I noticed, uh, had set into a jelly. So I thought that, well, if I uh, cook the starch and make it into a gel, then I can stain it. That was the beginning of gel electrophoresis. As a scientist myself, uh, I remember doing many of such gel electrophoresis uh, in, my, in the lab back in the graduate school days. And uh, it's very inspiring to see how he can uh, borrow some of his childhood memory and then made a, such an important invention that all of us scientists around the world can benefit. He invented tools along the way to solve the problem and do not let, let the difficulty of lacking the tools to stop him. This is a home-built apparatus, a, a baby bathtub and an old test tube rack and some bits and pieces of electronics. And that was the machine that allowed us to do the first gene targeting experiment. Why did we make it? Because we couldn't buy it. It's a very good chance we can get the, the chance to, uh, to talk with him, but uh, uh, it's so good uh, that uh, a person like him can talk with us. I, I can't believe that I could meet him and talk with him and answer a question with him face to face. So I'm inspired. I think for the students, this is really an eye-opening experience. So they can see, even in ordinary life, you can keep an open mind and you might find opportunities for a great discovery. He uh, motivates us and encourages us to keep on working and find the interest we, are, uh, we feel interested in. You students are excited about things. You ask questions that I can't answer. And you say, I think this, you think that. Professor Oliver Smithies has made the deepest impression on me, and that is to have peaceful hearts and pure passion towards research. And today, I have the joy of seeing students that you have talked to with their eyes wide open 
and a smile on their face. And when I've achieved that, I know that I've communicated to those students something of what inspired me when I was a student. The initiative has given me the opportunity to do that with some students here in China. Personally, I would think, uh, here's the message. Do the things you like, and the great discoveries will come to you. Perhaps someday, one of these students could get the Nobel Prize, and he might recall that he had attended Professor Smith's uh, lecture, and that gave him uh, an idea about how to pursue his goal.